Hey everyone, it's Colin, how's it going? I've previously shown you how to install a backlight kit in a Game Boy Advance. Now, the Game Boy Color is also seeing a bit of a resurgence in popularity, but unfortunately, the screen technology used in the Game Boy Color isn't conducive for a backlight kit, and no one's bothered to step up and manufacture a specialized backlit LCD panel for it. So today, we're gonna take a look at what's actually a bit of an old mod modernized a little bit through some custom manufacturing, and that is installing a front light kit in a Game Boy Color. Let's get started. Previously, people started doing this mod by actually harvesting the front light panel out of an original Game Boy Advance SP. And while this does work well, it's a bit fiddly and it just isn't as drop-in and simple as it could be. Thankfully, some other manufacturers have been coming up with solutions for this. And what I'm installing today is a specialized front light panel from Kitsch Bent. It only ran about 12 bucks plus shipping, and it's just as simple as dropping it in and soldering it up. So it should only take a few minutes to install. Of course, the first thing you'll need to do is to take apart the Game Boy Color. Get the back shell taken off. It's six tri-wing screws right around the outside with two inside the battery compartment. Then disconnect the ribbon cable going to the LCD screen and unscrew and remove the logic board. Then use a plastic spudger to gently pry that LCD screen out from its housing. It's usually held in with some adhesive. Sometimes that adhesive can be strong, so just be gentle when prying the screen out to avoid breaking it. Now you can temporarily drop in your front light panel. We need to do this to mark a couple of places on this bottom part of the plastic housing where the wires need to pass through. Pull the front light panel back out and cut out those notches using something like a utility knife. Then really clean out the inside of this screen cover. If there's any dust or fingerprints, they will be noticeable in the final product. Peel the protective film off of both sides of that front light panel and drop it into place, making sure that the wires fit nicely inside those notches that you cut. Now we need to do a little bit of prep work to the LCD panel to prepare for dropping it in. We need to remove this foam backing. It's used to pad out the space between the panel and the logic board, but it adds too much thickness with the front light panel in place. It's safest to peel the foam off with your fingers instead of using something like a knife to scrape it off. And that's because the ribbon cable for the LCD runs along the back side of the LCD panel underneath that foam. You don't want to cut that. Once the foam has been removed from the panel, then you can drop it into place and then stick the logic board back on top and screw it down. I routed the wires out the sides of the Game Boy and looped them through kind of the ears on either side of the cartridge connector to keep them out of the way. You need to take a bit of care when routing these wires because you don't want them to get in the way of any of the screw holes that hold in either the logic board or the back panel. But once you've got them routed, bring them down to this section of the board that has four solder points on it and solder them like this. The positive wire goes to the topmost of those four solder points and the black negative wire goes to the bottommost of those four. Once you've got those solder connections made, simply button up the Game Boy, drop a couple of batteries in, and turn it on to make sure that it works. So as simple of a mod as this is, what about the results? Honestly, they're a bit lackluster. The panel itself has a bit of texture to it, and this is necessary for the light to shine through. The bummer is that this also decreases the clarity and contrast of the LCD panel underneath. So everything looks a bit washed out and fuzzy. It's hard to see, even in really dark conditions. Part of this is inherent to the way that front lighting works, but part of it's also because this is a simpler way of installing the mod. There's a more advanced version that uses something called Liquid Optical Clear Adhesive, or LOCA, to physically bond that front light panel to the LCD itself to eliminate the air gap that you otherwise get with this more basic version of the mod. That promises to improve picture quality a bit, but even if you look at another front lit Game Boy, an original Game Boy Advance SP, you'll see that the quality still just isn't as good as it is on a proper backlit screen. There's just an inherent limitation to the way that front lighting works. So if you really want the best Game Boy Color playing experience, my advice is to simply skip using the Game Boy Color itself and use a backlit Game Boy Advance instead. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Those help quite a bit. Also, if you haven't subscribed, do so, would you? The button's right down there. And as always, thank you all so much for watching.